Alex, you got a minute? Yeah. Excuse me. I think this is right up your alley over here. What you got? A cannon. Oh, yes. This thing's big. Hey, how you doing? So this is your cannon? Yep. All right, um, what exactly do you have here? Uh, I believe it's a 1768 Spanish cannon. It's engraved here in this final band, and it's definitely 1768. I, I don't think it's Spanish, though. Is there a reason that you think it's Spanish? I heard from my great-grandfather. It's been through our family. They told us it was a Spanish cannon. The reason I think that somebody made it said it's Spanish is it almost looks like there's a cross here. But I don't think it's Spanish. Spanish cannons typically had names at the top. And this crown, usually that is something royal. Obviously, it's a crown. But I, I don't know this cipher. I'm sure this is a European tube. I just don't know exactly from where. Now, 1768, that's about American Revolution. These were used all through the Revolution. The English had them. The Americans had the similar things. So this dates really nicely. It's potentially American Revolution. And cool. if it's American Revolution, it's got some serious value. Awesome. Pretty cool, huh? I mean, it's fantastic. I just got to figure out where it's from. So you need a little bit of time back in the office? You know, I can figure it out as soon as I can get back. Do you think this cannon's fireable? I mean, from what I saw, it's clearly in very nice condition. I don't see any exterior cracking. I think it would be safe to fire. I can check it in more detail if you wanted to take it to a range. Sure. You'd be OK with that? Absolutely. Have you ever fired it? No. <laughs> so how much are you looking to get for the cannon? Basically, my father had it appraised in the 70s for 10 grand. So I'm figuring like 20. Alex, you think 20 grand sounds reasonable? I think it's reasonable enough to get Rick. OK, um, I'd rather not get Rick, because I'd like to surprise him with this, show up at the range, not tell him where we're going, and all of a sudden, we're going to be firing a cannon. All right. Why don't you bring Corey, too? Of course I'll bring all Corey. Right. All right, yep. we'll exchange numbers, and we'll meet up. Awesome. Great. Cool. All right. I appreciate it, Alex. No problem. I got, like, a line full of people with stuff in their arms. <laughs> <laughs> OK. There's your surprise. <laughs> what is this? It's obviously a cannon, Big Hoss. Not only is it a surprise for you guys, but I have a surprise for you, Chum. So you remember there's that cipher up on top of the cannon? Yeah. And I found a reference to it in a book. And it is the royal cipher of Frederick II of hessen kassel Now, this guy ruled in a section of Germany from 1760 to 1785. And his nephew was a man known as King George III of Great Britain. And during the American Revolution, Frederick II leased him soldiers known as Hessians who fought in the American Revolution against the colonists. Well, in 1776, George Washington crossed the Delaware and defeated 1,500 Hessians at a garrison outside of Trenton, New Jersey. Could this have been there? There's no way to know, but certainly this cannon or ones identical to it were used by the Hessian soldiers during the American Revolution. So you did a really good job fighting it, Chuck. Thank you. So how much you asking for it? Uh, 20 grand. OK. So we can fire this? Yeah, we can fire it. And you got gunpowder and cannonballs? I got gunpowder, cannonballs, all the tools I need. And we put up some wood wine barrels up there and see if we can knock them down like dominoes. OK, let's do this. You guys have earplugs? Yep. OK. You guys ready? Fire in the hole. <laughs> yes! Right here. Awesome! I guess you're a good shot after all. You hit the top one. I've seen that. Wow. So I'm impressed. That's fantastic. Yeah. What do you think it's worth, Alex? There are very few known examples of these types of guns. Um, the fact that it has the cipher from Frederick II of hessen kassel means it is potentially one of the guns that was here during the Revolution. So things like this, they sell for about $200,000. Wow. Oh, OK. All right, yeah. Um, awesome. Still 120? <laughs> How about 150? No. I'll give you 100 grand for it. I mean, the thing is, it's got to sell at an auction. And you never know what you're going to get, especially in big things. I mean, like, there's nothing to compare it to. All right, you got a deal. 
All right, wow. sweet. Um, I'll get you paid. I'll do some paperwork. And can you get this back to Vegas for me? I'll get it back to Vegas for you. All right. You never fail. Thanks for firing it. Well, looks like you guys are going to have to top me tomorrow, because I'm the king finder. It's not even a word. It is now, because the king <laughs> made it one. <laughs>